So we're here with M Martin Holt and his classic space mech, which is very, very cool. So you want to tell us a little bit about this? Uh, yeah, so this is my classic space mech that's built out of all of my sets from childhood. So these are basically the, uh, the things that I grew up with, that I fell in love with, that as an adult and finally starting to actually build uh, like mocks and stuff for the first time really uh, this past year, I thought, hey, what do I know already and what do I have? And I'm like, I have my old sets uh, from classic space. So this Galaxy Commander is my favorite set from childhood. It's the one that I've always like, it was my, yeah, my absolute favorite thing. And uh, I built a previous uh, Winter Village mech, which took all the Winter Village sets and put them together. Oh, nice. And so this one was, can I do maybe something with those classic space sets? So yeah. Um, we started off with building the Robot Command Center, which is the left leg, and building a complementary leg to it here, and then building the full base. Um, pretty much building all of the same techniques as I did when I was a kid. So every single thing here is like how I built when I was nine. And it's like the most like <laughs> energizing, amazing, like happy time ever. Um, and so then uh, I built that. I added the uh, Benny spaceship is the only new like classic space on here. And that's really like the core of this thing because it's so strong, it has such good structure. So I kind of started with that once I kind of had done the platform, the, the main legs here, oops. And then uh, I added, uh, I figured out how to put the internet, uh, or sorry, the uh, Galaxy Commander on top of it. And then I kind of framed it out so I could just start adding on the different parts. And so then we have, this is a kind of mobile rocket transport, kind of owed to that. This is more from the Galaxy Commander. This is actually the only set that is fully intact and it's a scooter, um, which is one of multiple scooters I think they did. And then, uh, Alien Moon Stalker, really weird ADAT-ish one that I did there. This is my intergalactic command center, I think, that has a ship that flies up. Yeah, I love this piece hanging down here. This is great. And then, uh, yeah, so this guy, he has a full mobile hand here and all that. Um, and this was the scariest part, because I'd never really done, like, a articulated face before. And it was one of those where I'm scared to do it. I don't know how I'm going to figure it out. Um, but I started messing around. I originally started with the top part of the robot command center because it has kind of a face that's not really a robot. So I'm like, can I turn that into a robot? And uh, it was not working out. It looked like a salamander. And so I stepped away and then I got this idea of a small eye and a big eye. Started with that and then I built it. And originally it was not articulated. It was just very like this while well, it had so he can be very angry. That's great. Um, but then uh, I figured out how to make the mouth open and you know the eyes give them the whole thing like that. So he can be really do a lot of expressions. And I wanted to make him approachable. That was like not the mech that is angry. I'm here to fight and battle and things like that. And so that was really the key piece to how do I do the head is like, make it happy, approachable, Iron Giant, those things and all that oh, stuff. Oh yeah. So. so what did you do to make the core so stable? Uh, so, you know, the main piece is, uh, or it's all Technics basically. And, you know, if, you, if you've held up Benny Spaceship or built it, you realize like, wow, like that is super stable, super sturdy. So, uh, you know, I have like one large like Technics turntable there that does the full rotation. So oh, he can nice. move around and do all that stuff and then do his articulate or, you know, kind of, uh, move all the different parts of the body, but um, you can actually pick him up right there at the core and lift him uh, and then just kind of balance it in the front. Um, and it is just these upright techniques and doing, figuring out the angles on, you know, I think it's like 7, 8, 13, or I forget, but there's, cer like there's certain yeah. ones where, yeah. you know, you're like, you know, yep. you do those. And so that was allowed me to kind of give it the full structure. And we have, you know, in here, we have like a little core that kind of was built in because I had ripped this stuff out. And so I put a core in there and then that core kind of goes to this little piece up here, which is this like little rainbow rocket energy thing that it feeds into. But here you can see the Technics aspects of it. You might not get that, but there is stuff in here. <laughs> and uh, so doing that, um, you know, like you have this kind of central core piece that's all Technics. And then I figured I'll just kind of fill in stuff where I can. But like this is literally this part to this part going through is the original Benny spaceship. So I just kind of used those pieces and then built through and around because it was so structurally strong. Did you have to buy a lot of additional parts to finish it or was it mostly no, uh, the sets? 
It was, uh, I bought a bunch of like one by two blue bricks. I bought uh, a few plates, uh, blue plates. Otherwise it was almost all my sets. And I try to stick, this is like classic gray coming up through here. And then I switched to more mix of new and classic. And the, uh, and so doing the whole, um, you know, trying to stick with, and also this is like blue gray down here, here is more white. So that gave me a little bit more flexibility on what I could throw in. But uh, no, it was, uh, I, I have a lot, of, <laughs> it's all my childhood Legos. And I was mentioning to someone like I had a parent's friend, uh, their, their kid was like eight years older than me. And he came over one day and gave me all of his classic space Legos when I was, you know, and so I doubled like all of my stuff at that point and uh, kind of forgot about that because it was like older. And, uh, and when I went back to revisit like what I had, I realized I had so much more than what I originally thought. So that allowed me that, yeah. One thing that's cool about this is that, you know, these the typically glass pieces like this get scratched, especially the oh. older ones, but it works great on this mark because yeah. he looks like it's he's worn. It's supposed to be. Right, no, it's he, wonderful. He's, he's, some people said it's like, you know, like they left a classic space like, you know, on some planet or somewhere or whatever. And like, well, you know, 40 years later, it's like, this is what they were building. And like, it's just been up there that whole time. So yeah, he's, it's got all the creaks and like sounds that it makes of just like old classic, you know, like that's the Lego that I grew up with. And it also has all the grit and the wear. I'm like, I'm not cleaning that off. No, like, it's perfect. I want the, the white to be grimy yep. and like, yeah. All right, well, thanks for sharing this with yeah, us. Yeah, awesome. No, thanks so much for, uh, <laughs> for coming by and checking it out.